Good morning and welcome to our Homestead Classroom. If it's your first time here, I'm Janelle, so happy to have you. Today we are in our kitchen because I wanted to share one of our favorite summer side dishes. Now, if you're not new around here, you might have seen our last video, which was our very first garden tour. And after I posted that video, I was a little surprised with myself because I realized I completely left out our cucumber chalice. Now, the reason that was so surprising to me is actually twofold. First, that trellis looked like this last year. Pretty unforgettable if I do say so myself. Number two, this side dish is just one of our go-tos in the summertime. It's so fresh and easy, and when the cucumbers are rolling in like they are now, it, we pretty much have the, all of these ingredients anytime we need them. So in order to redeem the cucumbers that got left out of the first garden tour, I'm here to share this cucumber salad with each of you. So from what I've been told, this cucumber salad is actually of German origin, where it goes by the name Gherkin Salat. And it's basically like eating fresh pickles right out of a bowl. So if you're a fan of dill pickles, you're absolutely gonna love this one. So how about we head out to the garden and pick a few of the things we're gonna need. Okay, I've got our garden goodies all washed up and our other ingredients pre-measured for us. Don't worry, I'll be putting a full recipe in the video description for you to reference later. But I usually plan on a cucumber per person and sometimes I'll throw in an extra if we wanna have leftovers like tonight. I've got two small red onions. You could use a medium if that's what you've got, but we're about to harvest our onions and I know these little guys won't store as long for me. So I chose to go that route. We also have a big bunch of dill that we harvested from the garden, which I am going to chop up nice and finely. From the pantry, you'll also need a half cup of either white vinegar or apple cider vinegar like I have here, as well as a tablespoon, sometimes a little more of your preferred sugar. This is just organic cane sugar and a teaspoon of some good sea salt. We'll also need a bit of additional salt and fresh cracked pepper later in the recipe. Okay, so the first thing we need to do for this recipe is to sweat our cucumbers and onions, which is a bit like when you make pickles and you soak them in salt in order to extract the extra moisture and make sure you don't get soggy pickles. This way we don't get a soggy salad. First I used the mandolin to take off those blossom ends and put them in the chicken pile, and then I am thinly slicing the cucumbers using the mandolin. Now this is a bit of a do as I say, not as I do situation. You will notice I am not using a guard with my mandolin. You will also notice that I leave a nice big cucumber handle and I'm not greedy with my cucumbers. That big handle becomes a nice big cucumber snack for my chickens. Happy chickens, happy fingers, happy me, but you do what makes you happy. We're also gonna do the exact same thing to get some nice thin slices of our red onions. Next, we're gonna sprinkle that teaspoon of sea salt over the cucumbers and onions and with clean hands, we're gonna give them a really good toss making sure that the salt evenly coats everything and that none of our cucumber slices are sticking together. It's also a great time to take a moment to separate your onion rings to make sure they'll be well distributed throughout your salad. Then we're just gonna pop the whole thing in the fridge and wait at least an hour. In the meantime, we're gonna make our vinegar dressing. Now, some recipes will have you do this on the stove to get the sugar melted, but I don't find it necessary to heat the house up any extra. I just put the sugar and the vinegar into a jar and give it a really good shake. And I've never had any issues with not being able to get my sugar to completely dissolve. After at least an hour in the fridge, you're gonna to wanna to drain off all that excess liquid from your cucumbers and onions. No need to rinse the salt or anything like that. You're just gonna make sure to taste them before you add any additional salt later on. Okay, now it's time to get our salad all dressed up. First, you're gonna add as much freshly chopped dill as you'd like. Personally, I'm a big fan of dill and a big fan of fresh herbs in general, so we use quite a bit in our salad. 
We're also gonna add some freshly cracked black pepper. Again, this is just to your taste preference. And then we're gonna pour the vinegar and sugar mixture over everything. So other than a bit of prep on the front end, you can see simple ingredients, simple recipe, and it comes together super quick. Then just take your favorite pair of tongs and give it a good toss. And of course, as with everything in the kitchen, be sure to taste and add some more salt if you need. Then just cover your bowl and place in the fridge until you're ready to serve. This is a great recipe for a summer picnic or barbecue because there's nothing in the salad that's really gonna spoil even if it sits in the sun for a bit. And it's a great fresh accompaniment to anything grilled like brats or even fish. But tonight we're going a bit more traditional and serving it with two of my spouse's specialties, pork schnitzel and buttered spatzel. Well, I guess that wraps up this recipe. I hope you'll give this favorite summer side dish of ours a try. And if you do, be sure to come back and leave a comment and let me know how you liked it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. And I hope to see you in our classroom again real soon.